Seneca, South Carolina. Senator Graham, good morning. You just heard from your colleague, Senator Bernie Sanders. He said he's not going to meet with Senator Warner and those Democratic colleagues about the future of the ticket. You've been talking to former President Trump, your ally in recent days. You've even played a little golf with Trump. What's the view from Senate Republicans and especially from former President Trump about what's happening across the aisle? Well, I think most of us are, are concerned of the national security implications of this debate about uh, President Biden's health. Bernie Sanders' problem with Biden is he's not liberal enough. 70% of the public believes that President Biden's not mentally and physically capable of being president. 70% of the people believe the nation's on the wrong track. Most Democrats are worried about Biden winning the election. I'm worried about Biden, Biden being the commander in chief for the next four months. We're having a meeting with NATO in Washington next week. On October the 7th, Israel's attacked by Hamas. On October the 8th, President Biden gives an interview to the special counsel where they determined him to be a nice man with a bad memory and you couldn't convince a jury he did anything wrong. I want those tapes released. So what I'd like to see is President Biden take a cognitive test. I think everybody going forward in the line of succession should, should have a former president Trump take one as well. On a regular basis. Yes. Yes, I think both all nominees for president going to the future should have neurological exams as part of an overall physical exam. I think people in the line of succession should have a neurological exam. My predecessor, Senator Thurmond, uh, was a very vigorous man, but he was 100. He was the speaker pro tem of the Senate. This is a wake up call for the country. We need to make sure that the people who are going to be in the line of succession are capable of being commander in chief uh, under dire circumstances. Here's what I worry about, that our allies see a compromise Joe Biden, that our enemies see a compromise Joe Biden. And I'm offended by the idea that he shouldn't take a competency test given all the evidence in front of us. Uh, he is not only in denial, this is a dangerous time for the American people to have somebody uh, at the ship leading the ship of state who seems to be compromised. So at a minimum, take a competency exam. Speaking of uh, President Biden and Trump. Speaking of a wake up call, many Democrats are alarmed at what the Supreme Court did this past week in terms of ruling on presidential immunity, saying that presidents effectively have immunity when it comes to official acts. You are very close to former President Trump. This is someone who pushed to overturn the election in late 2020, early 2021, he pushed officials who were working in an official capacity, like then Vice President Mike Pence, to the brink in terms of how to use their official powers. How will Trump use power in a second term in the wake of this Supreme Court ruling? Well, you're going to have the NATO uh, 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 leader on next. I think what President Trump will do when it comes to NATO is pick up where he left off, pay more. Uh, about 18 members of NATO pay the 2% required. Sam Nunn had a proposal in 1986. But I'm talking about, 3%, Senator, how he's going to um, use power inside the White House I, and the administration. I, I, I think he's going to use power to get NATO to pay more. I think he's going to secure the border by using executive action. I think he's going to be a damn good president to right the ship. I think he's going to open up America to oil and gas exploration. I think he's going to do undo all the problems created by uh, Biden. The question is, will it be on a revenge tour? He's going to be on a success tour. He's going to get us energy independent. He's going to control our borders. He's going to get our NATO allies to pay more. We have to deal with China. We're the sole supplier of arms for Israel. NATO should pay more. I'm a big what, internationalist. What in gives terms you confidence about that, Senator Graham? But I want to tell because of what he did before. Well, he's the had a lot of grievances of on social President, media and his speeches in recent weeks. When he was president of the United States, he had the most secure border in American history. When he was president of the United States, we had Arabs making peace with Israel. When he was president of the United States, we were energy independent. Inflation was down. The best indication of what Trump will do in the future, policy-wise, is what he did in the past. I love a policy debate. You know, uh, 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 Senator Sanders wants a policy debate. Bring it on. The policy of socialism versus the policy of freedom. Senator, That's what this is about. But I'm worried right now it's about not... the capability of our president to be commander in chief. Senator Graham.